So what I'm talking about here is uh, removing the fuel injectors from a air-cooled two-liter motor on a this is on an 81 Vanagon. I imagine it's similar on the uh, other Type 4 motors, air-cooled motors that are fuel injected. Um, I had to remove this uh, some kind of emissions pipe, I guess, but it was blocked off. The block off was underneath this piece of tin here. So there's nuts, there's bolts on top and then nuts on the bottom. So I had to remove that just to get that. This goes right here. So I had to get that out of the way. And then uh, I had to take off the long fuel, metal fuel tube. It actually, it's right now I'm using it as a plug so I don't, so I stop a leak here. Uh, but that goes from this, uh, this uh, cold start valve over here to the, uh, to the fuel rail, which is right here. And while I do this, I'm in the process of replacing all of these uh, these rubber lines because you know the ones I have were made in West Germany, and I hadn't been West Germany since 1987. So uh, the uh, and when you take the injectors off, there's these on the earlier ones. There's these little cap things here on the end that are screwed on. It's put on this way. This tooth grabs straight above here. There's two of them. Uh, and there's a nut on there so bust the nut loose and screw it off as a washer and then this will come off with the injector it'll look like this uh, in order to get this apart let me go ahead and show you that um, you kind of pull this back and I push against the pintle cap uh, to get that rubber to start to come down a little bit it's really it's really difficult to get it off around the, uh, the, the connection point because uh, you can't get your fingers in there and the thing won't drop back but once you get it to move down there you go that comes off and then this will slide off okay so and then there's a there's also a uh, the, the other seal is right here so when you put these back in there's you know two seals per injector uh, but anyway what I'm going to show you how to do is how to uh, get the you can grab the other injector How to get the uh, the piece of hose that's on there with this strange uh, little like kind of looks like a like a bowl or saucepan that basically holds the uh, rubber on. So we're going to cut into this underneath this metal, which you'll see. I know this because I've taken one apart. Um, so you don't have to worry about when you're cutting into it whether you're going to cut plastic because you know you got plastic around here, but what's in, underneath there is metal. So you need a, uh, I'm using a, a box knife like this that has, the, an X-Acto knife would be better because you got a, 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 a more cute angle on the tip, but I'm going to cut in, actually I'll cut it in two spots. So I've got this to turn already. Uh, you know, so I broke it loose and I had to do that to get it off the fuel rail. Uh, but I'll cut a groove in it like that. And I'm slowly trying to rock this up till I get past the tip, and it'll yeah. Then it pokes in, so then you know you're past the uh, the point where the end of the metal thing is. Of course, be careful with this. You've got you know a sharp blade and a hand. So I'm going to dig that one in as close as I can down into that what I call the pan. Um, and now I'm going to do one 180 across from that and do the same thing. Of course, anytime you replace your injectors, you should replace this uh, this piece of hose along with you know any other hoses that are old and and susceptible to the uh, ethanol gas that we have these days. And there it is. Okay, so I'm in. Okay, now if you have any of these cool pliers, these are really helpful. These are hose pliers they get that funky tip on the end there's a little bit of a bend there and uh, you can put it on the uh, thing and just start turning it it's not going to just slide right off it is not that easy so what I do is I grab the thing and pick inside and kind of just destroy it now the other thing you need to be able to do is to measure this so you can get a cut a piece of hose that's the same size so keep that in mind as you're destroying this Okay, so now you can see I can I can almost see down at the to the end there. 
and cut a couple more fibers. Got it yet? So I can pull it out a little bit. You got some sunshine in there, showing you right where I'm cutting. Maybe. Okay. Okay, I'm starting to tear the hose there, and that's not what I want to do. You can see where it's starting to tear around the, the there's still hose down in the down in here. Uh, but I don't want to I don't want to destroy that because I want to, I want to get it cut so I can get it out. So. Try on the other side maybe. Part of the problem here is I can't poke the pencil cap, or you know, I can't beat it on anything because it's got to stay smooth, and uh, I don't really want to drop the injector or anything and potentially break anything. Okay. So I'm going to try again. This is the opposite side that I'm tearing into. Ah, I got it. So there. Now it's so now once I got it to come up like that, it'll come off. Okay. So now I can actually measure this piece and cut a new piece of hose. This piece just slides off, and again, like I said, that's a metal uh, that's a metal tip there on the injector. So I'm going to run these through an injector cleaner. Uh, that might be uh, something to record later and share with y'all. So that's kind of what it is. Um, inside here is a uh, there's a that's a little filter inside there. You see the kind of the brass inside the uh, the metal. That brass thing is, an, is actually a small filter that drops in there. And then this is the area that squirts. This is an interesting pencil cap. It's uh, interesting, maybe kind of a, it's kind of strange that, you know, uh, it, it doesn't have the small hole like you usually see. And inside the center, I don't know if you can see it, there's the, the pin that pulls back when you uh, electrify it. So that's kind of how it's made, so, all right.